welcome to my review of the Dudios shuttle this is my first ever review I've done of this type of design like the earbud design and yeah let's get into it so again the packaging is this the manual the buds themselves which I'll get to in a bit the charge cable USB to micro as you can see and yeah, just tips small and large on there and by default it comes with mediums so yeah it's a manual obviously comes in a couple of languages so yeah, english german spanish french italian obviously two asian ones i'm not quite sure i guess one's chinese i am unsure of the other but yeah so what you get like i've said you get the buds case tips cable and the manual they are bluetooth 5 and they use a real tech chipset which is that one there working range around 10 meters that's about right i got nine nine about nine meters so quite close talk time about four hours i got just under that but it depends on you know, obviously the volume you know that you're at Earbud charging time about hour and a half, that's about right. So that's basically the charge time. If there's come like flat to like full when you charge them in the case, which is about right. The case charging time 2.5 hours. Yeah, I'd say that's about right as well. From suit from basically nothing to full. And also does display on the front, which are the same peach true dots don't have for some reason is actual indicator light of the battery level of the case this has it i that's really i don't know why that doesn't have that but uh yeah charging case you recharge it's basically the five times is how many times you can charge them over so if they go flat so in the theories of that is if they're flat you can charge them five times from the case without using the wall and yeah, I got to four, maybe four and a half times, so that's quite close. And there's the dimensions. So yeah, this is how it works. There's no, there's no, there are no buttons on it, so it's touch. But I'll show you when you, so when you use them in stereo, you have to hold that one down to go previous track. Tap it twice to get a voice assistant, which works. Then on the right earbud, obviously you press it twice to pause. Same to Anthrocore. And that is to change to another call, if you understand what I mean. So yeah, so one and a half seconds to, so to pause the track. So, no, sorry, next track. So you hold the button for one and a half seconds for next track and end the call. So, straightforward stuff. So, that, and this here, the controls, is basically just the text variant of what those mean. So you can either power on, take them out of the case, or manually, when they're off, long press them. I'll let you all read that, but it's obviously, if you're used to using earbuds, it's quite self-explanatory. One thing these don't have is I think it's because it's a chipset limitation is I don't have volume control on them but that's not that's to me that's not a big deal and that's it just instructions how to fit them pairing repairing it remembers the last ones blah 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 if you can read all that so if you know if you know to use any TWS labels, this is all quite you know self-explanatory, like I said. Super straightforward. Factory reset if you have any issues. And yeah, that's it. Super straightforward. You also get this included. Basically a it's really quick information. Yep. Yeah. As you say, tips small, just kind of the kind of shallow tips. But they work fine. 
So that's small and large. And like I've shown you before, USB, micro to full size USB. They recommend using 5 volt 1 amp for charging. But I charged it with 5 volt 1.2 amps and it was fine. So, case, emblem, quite a nice case. It's compact enough. It's a small, well, it's the best way to describe it. It's a small case for small case for how big they are. See, you know, they did a good job with uh, making it quite compact. So, yeah, they recommend 5 volt 1 amp for charging. I don't know the milliamp power of the battery in here. I'm not quite sure. You have four, if you can see in the light, the four dots. So, obviously, if it's all the way four, it's full. Then three, two, one, like 25%, 50, 75, 100. Um, for example, if it's 50% power and you're charging it, those two stay lit and those two are like flash. Then when you 75%, that one will flash. Can kind of like progress. Uh, yeah, left, right. There's the brand. That little light, which is in both. Just a bit to see. That's the status like. I like that it's quite minimalistic, so when you when you're using it, it doesn't stand out. Micro USB. Uh, I like to see Type C these days, but you know it's not really a big deal. Take these out. So, so this is the left obviously two charging connectors pull in the case the case is really well designed i'll just pop it back in as you can see it fits really well terminal stick straight out kind of magnetic fits straight in and it lights up obviously because i've only when you put it for charge that will light up red there quite and there's a bit of padding you can see there yeah nice case so yeah, as this is touch controlled, for example, I'll just use this piece of plastic. You want to touch it in this section. If you touch the edges, they don't really do much. But if you control in that kind of area, that's how the touch actually works. So yeah, this is the left one. I found the comfort was good. I've never used anything of this design. As you say, it's kind of like an earbud design, but this seals off like a normal conven conventional earphone does. So you'd sit, obviously this is your left ear, it'd fit like that, and obviously it seals. So it's not like a true earbud which seals, which does not seal the environment off, it's sealed. So yeah, left, obviously the branding, emblem, touchpad is there in the centre. Kind of thick, but the comfort was fine. I had no issues whatsoever. Take one of these tips off. So it's got good grip. As you see, the, the tip itself. See, it's quite shallow. See, it's, it's quite firing. Uh, comfort was really good. Couldn't, couldn't really fault it. See, that one's flashing right. He, want, he wants to pair, obviously, obviously I've got nothing turned on, but yeah, so like I said, brand, this one off right there. The bottom is the microphone, and that's it, it's just the symmetrical. That's it. Build quality seems really good, built quite well. Can't, can't really fault the build of any of this package, the build quality... I think it's really good. Um, let's get to the sound. I'd say the sound of these is quite consumer based, so they're quite a bit bassy. Kind of warm sounding. The bass is probably the most prominent part. So they're not balanced, if you like. So I've been using these for like some electronic music or anything that's got bass in it. It does come, you know, is the most prominent part. And the mids and treble and the details a bit further back. The bass just stand, you know, in position one. But uh, yeah, but everything else, the mids, 
is quite clear. Vocals are a little bit pushed back, I think, because of the, the um, elevated bass. But that's not really a problem. You know, it depends all... We all like different sound sign signatures. And, the, yeah, the treble was fine. As you say, I found it a little bit... I will not say these are V-shaped, but I think the mids are probably the most pushed back. And then the tre treble is slightly more elevated that, than that. And then the bass is a bit more elevated than that. That's how I see it, but it sounds fine, really. I prefer it as a personal experience. I'd prefer something a bit more balanced sounding. But that's just my, you know, just my opinion. Uh, isolation, I uh, I found was good. Because like they say, the seal good, so the isolation was good. Sound stage, I'd say, was okay. And the imaging was kind of okay. I haven't tried these in gaming or anything like that. Uh, I've tried these on Android with uh, YouTube and Amazon Video and it plays fine. There's no sync issues for me. I don't. I haven't tried these with iOS. I think other people have. I personally haven't. But with my Android phone, it plays fine. Obviously, obviously these use the AAC codec. So if you if you got Android eight and up, you should make sure you're on AAC. Uh, let's get to call quality. Call quality was probably the best of the TWS I've tried so far. I think it helps that this is a lot closer to your mouth. Normally, you know, you just you just have that, and the microphone would be like there or something like that. But because it's a bit closer, call quality was good. To, from the other end, my voice is quite clear. So yeah, good call quality. To but from their voice, I'd say it's any kind of average from me receiving the call. But yeah, the, but the call quality from the other person end was was pretty good. Could be good for longer phone calls. So I don't see any issues, you know, with anything like that. The assistant, like I've shown you, actually works fine. You know, like you have to. I can't. I've shown you earlier in the video. It's in the manual, but. Yeah, the assistant works fine. Well, Google Assistant. I haven't tried the iOS. I think it's Siri. I haven't tried that one yet. But yeah, these are these are pretty good. Good say the connection between each other was was good. I like to see these one day maybe with a Qualcomm chipset, so you get Aptex. But that's just my opinion. You know, it's just it's not a necessity. The real tech chips that they've used seems to work buying for my use i haven't tried anything like with ga any gaming because if you're going to try gaming i'd try using a wire because you want the least lag you want the best response time so you use wired earphones but yeah the duty are shuttle first style of these i've tried and uh yeah i think they're, they're good just if you want something balanced sounding they're not for you if you're like if you like a, a bassy kind of if you like that to be a lot more prominent, these are for you. But yeah, apart from that, they're, they're not too bad. Is there anything else you want to ask me about these? Just see, yeah, as usual. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, I think, I think I've think i covered everything. I think I've covered it all. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll be back soon with another video. Please stay safe out there. And, uh, and you take care.